of pop culture the lituation report on magic 104.9 grand rapids number one for hip-hop and r&b now usher has found himself into all this diddy controversy and he had to explain why all of his tweets miraculously were deleted after conspiracy theories linked him to diddy's um mm, freak off case yeah over the weekend eagle eye fbi agent fans noticed that all of usher's posts on formerly known as twitter had to been white leading to some rather crazy speculation that the move was somehow related to Diddy's recent arrest. After all the commotion, Usher said, uh-uh, baby, that's not the case. I was hacked. You're gonna have to calm down. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And last but certainly not least, Quando Rondo has pleaded not guilty regarding multiple charges that he's received following a high-speed car crash last year in July. And it looks like now the rapper is out for bond for a federal drug conspiracy charge for which he is scheduled to be sentenced on December 12th. So if you want more updates on that or what else is going on in the rap game, download that My Magic GR app for more details. I'm Leisha B, afternoon bestie, holding it down on Grand Rapids, number one for hip-hop, Magic 104.9. And sometimes we be talking a little reckless about Nicki, but Nicki Minaj started to do one thing right today by paying tribute to one of hip-hop's very own women pioneer, Miss Eve Eve, how you doing? After she admitted that she was feeling insecure when she was starring in Barbershop, the next cut together with Nicki Minaj. This is all coming out because Eve is putting out a new memoir called Who's That Girl? And she revealed that she's been in therapy to combat her insecurities after learning that Nikki would be appearing in the film, but any negative emotions soon evaporated once her and Nikki met. And I love that Nikki was able to give the very much deserved flowers to Eve. Too many people be sleeping on my girl Eve. I mean, she was the only female on Rough Riders for a very long time. So I want to know, what is your favorite Eve moment? What's your favorite song? Or honestly, what is your favorite Rough Riders moment? Let me know. Hit me up in that My Magic GR app and we'll start the conversation, bestie. I'm Leisha B, afternoon bestie on Grand Rapids, number one for hip hop, Magic 104.9. And I bet Lotto did not want any more controversy about her song, Brokey. But y'all, here we are. Because a 22 year old woman says that she was fired from her Waffle House job of six years after posting and participating in Lotto's new Brokey challenge. Now, if you don't remember, I told you that Lotto called on her fans to make a video to the song and their place of employment for a chance to win $10,000. Well, unfortunately for this young woman and a lot of other people on social media, their jobs are not really okay with them filming and doing this Brokey challenge. So it looks like instead of getting $10,000, a lot of people, including this woman, are going to have to figure out how they're going to get a new J-O-B. As of right now, Lotto hasn't said anything, but I bet her team is working tirelessly to figure out how they're going to fix this situation. But you know, if you want to still do the Brokey challenge to get that 10 k you're still able to do so. But how do you feel about this? Let me know if you feel like it actually belongs to the streets or not, because losing a job over a challenge that you're probably not even going to win definitely belongs to the streets to me. Get all the details that you need to know by hitting up that my Magic GR app or head over to our website, MyMagicGR.com. It's time for the 616 check-in on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids number one for hip-hop and r &B. A new partnership between the Michigan Lottery and Michigan State Police hopes to share Amber Alerts across the state more effectively and efficiently. Now, when Amber Alerts are issued by local law enforcement agencies across Michigan, terminal messages with the information will immediately be sent out and displayed across 10,000 Michigan Lottery retailers in the state. That includes convenience and grocery stores. And the partnership is actually active right now. So the next time an Amber Alert is issued in the state, the messages will be broadcasted all across the Michigan lottery screens at all retailers. And I think that's an amazing partnership. We're trying to bring our babies home. And also, speaking of trying to hook you up with some things, you can win tickets to see The Temptations and The, the, and the Spinners at Soaring Eagle Casino. So if you want to win tickets right now, download 
download that Vibe at GR app. And this weekend, I'll be giving out tickets to see Wale in Detroit. So you might as well go ahead and download that Vibe at GR app so that you're ready for all things good. So if you want more details about the 616 area and news as they come out, hit up that Vibe at GR app. It's Grand Rapids, number one for Vibe Magic 1049. I'm Lee Shabi, afternoon bestie. And you need to know the name Clarice Shields, a.k.a. T-Rex. Because a new film about the two-time Olympic boxing gold medalist is set to release this Christmas. It's actually written by Oscar-winning producer Barry Jenkins, who you may know from Moonlight. And it also stars our girl Ryan Destiny from Star and Grownish and Academy Award nominee Brian Tyree Henry from Atlanta, you know, the one with Childish Gambino. But the film is all about her life story, a girl from Flint, Michigan, who rose through the ranks to make boxing history. And now today, she is the 15-time world champion, a three-time undisputed champion, and she was named the SB Boxer of the Year in 2023. So it makes sense why she's getting her very own movie. And plus, it's been getting crazy reviews since it premiered in Toronto. So if you want to support a black woman in sports, go ahead and buy your tickets today. And if you want more details about the Fire Inside movie coming out this Christmas, download that My Magic GR app.